Hello everyone, it is the day after Christmas and I got some really cool stuff for Christmas that relate to the business, obviously. First off, I have this bad boy, a little Arborware. I actually got two of these. Um, these are super sweet, they're like super thick, super awesome. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I got some like Crocs and some other things, but as far as the business goes, I got some really cool stuff. I got another GoPro, which is huge. And I got five extra batteries. And one came with the GoPro, so I got six batteries. So I have seven batteries total, two extra charging um, stations. So now I'll be able to get footage all day long and um, in two different places. So, and the other thing is I got this thing called Mosher. It's M-O-A-S-U-R-E. It's like measure, but Mosher. It's about this big. It's in the other room, but you use it to walk around. And the reason I wanted it was for specifically like mulch and rock beds, because usually they have like these oblong weird shapes. They're usually very hard to measure is the point. So this thing, you just walk around and you tap it on the ground and you can mark out um, whatever crazy, um, you know, design that it is. And it'll tell you the square footage. I believe it also measures like elevation, um, like surface area, and uh, some pretty other some other cool things. But so you could go around the property, mark out all of the different mulch beds and rock beds, figure out the square footage, so you'll know how much stone or how much mulch you need, and also show you kind of a picture <clears throat> and combine all those. It is a massive time saver. Yeah. So I had a really good Christmas. I hope you guys did too. I know you're watching this later on, um, but <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, as far as what I'm working on today, I am working on the app. I actually was able to contact um, a couple guys through Fiverr. <clears throat> they both live in Egypt, funny enough. And one of them um, contacted me back. The other one I still have to talk to, but I talked with him on a Skype call or Zoom call and <clears throat> at first I didn't know what the heck I think I might have already said this in the video but I didn't know what the heck to say and I was just kind of all over the place after I sat down and thought about it came up with the game plan and I copied all of my apps I organized all the data tables combined them deleted unnecessary ones and so today I'm gonna finalize that get the list everything set up so he can start working on that and then I can go work on the next thing I mean it's just this is my like CRM <clears throat> and then I have my work orders, my plowing. I actually have to delete this, my estimates and mowing. And I'll probably just take the mile log off there. These are all like the data tables that I have to make sure there's no extras or unnecessary or I just like changed the names so they made more sense. All right, so I've made a little bit of progress, but I've noticed a recurring theme with myself and um, like I said, with my first call with this guy, I was just all over the place. I wanted to like tell him everything. And I'm starting to get back into that because there's a quite a few like complex things in this app. I mean, I've been working on it for so long that there's a lot to it. And someone that's just looking at it for the first time, there's just so much. Um, so I really got to hone in on one thing and then let it let him just build out from there and get to know everything so so i started making my priority list so i did like talked about the improvement or change that i want to make the app that's associated the task type um and the priority um and then i did additional information so like this is the biggest thing i want to do i want the guys to be able to see what they made in performance pay compared to their base pay just trying to focus my brain on one small thing that he can digest and then slowly grow it out. Um, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time like creating a list for somebody and putting a bunch of work into like setting it up for someone else to do it if I can't find anybody to do it, which <clears throat> I think I should definitely be able to, but I'm just not gonna waste a bunch of time doing that. I'm gonna start working on the website and then once he gets back to me, he can jump into the app, see what it's all about and then come to me with questions and then we can figure it out from there. If I try and account for every single hurdle that he's gonna come into, 
then there's going to be a ton of redundancy stuff. I'm going to be writing down things that wouldn't have been an issue for them. And I'm going to not write down things that would be an issue for them. So for myself training people, I find it best to give them the base that they absolutely need in this situation. I'm just giving him <clears throat> access to all the apps. He has access to what it is that I'm looking for. And I know he's going to have questions beyond that. But for me to sit here and try and think of all of the possible problems. If you ever, there's a book called Ready, Fire, Aim. And it's, you know, it's pretty much says like jump into and start doing something instead of just thinking about it all the time. Um, which you should definitely plan and strategize and look at all prob possible solutions. Because on one hand, an hour of planning saves you like eight hours of uh, whatever the thing is that you're doing. But also, you can just go in mental circles. And uh, at the end of the day, if you just do the thing, then you'll figure out if it works or not or what you have to improve. So, Alrighty guys, so I made some decent progress updating the website. I still have quite a bit more to do. Um, but I got like 140 different photos and videos uploaded and I've been making all the pages look clean, um, just simplifying it. And then I just got a message from the guy on Fiverr. <clears throat> he asked, can I take a look at everything in the app and then get back to you to schedule a time to meet and talk? And I got a message him back, but that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, it's Wednesday morning. Super foggy. I feel like I'm on the freaking I feel like I'm at Gettysburg. Um, anyways, <clears throat> about to head in from Desiree's, meet up with Tyler, and finish up that tree job. And we're back at the job site here. Tyler's already climbed up, ready to go. We're just gonna get the wood loaded up, and um, there's another pile here. I'm thinking we may or may not stump grind today. We gotta call Taylor Rental. We, uh, we got a junk removal job, so since we're late on work, we might just do this, do the junk removal, and then Tyler can come back uh, tomorrow and do the stump grinding. And just like that, we are all done. And our trailer is nice and full. And... Just did our junk removal, cleaned everything up. It was all in a back shed there. Good to go. Alrighty guys, we wrapped up that junk removal job and right next door was the guy that we had bid last week. Um, we bid him at 1700, which was a little bit lower than we, we thought. We thought we were giving him a good price. Then apparently there's a guy named Kyle who works, used to work with Tyler. Um, and Kyle started his own tree business and he got that job. He bid it at 1400 and then he also got the other tree lead that I got, which I didn't even get a price, a chance to bid on. So he's going a bit low. Um, but now I know anytime I get a lead from Angie's list, he's going to be bidding on it and he's going a bit low. So if that's the case, I'll keep trying it, but otherwise I'm spending like $40 um, on each one of these bids and uh, I'm not gonna keep doing that. I'll just take the tree service off of there, unfortunately. Alrighty guys, it is Thursday morning. I'm heading down to meet up with Tyler. We gotta get some straps, so that way we can hold the stump grinder in the trailer. But before we can do that, we gotta dump all the junk that is in this trailer at the landfill. I don't think I'm gonna go up on the hill. I think I'm just gonna have us throw it into the bins. Um, it's wet and I hate it up there. So I did make a pamphlet um, a brochure that I'm going to hand out to people. Um, and I might, I might mail it. I might not. I'm not sure yet. It has just a little message, you know, um, pretty much talking about our team and stuff. And then when you open up on the inside, that's the real bread and butter that's got on the left. It's got the, um, I was going to call them service packages, but 
I changed it to service options because they are options. Somebody, it's the silver, gold, and platinum. Silver is you just pay per occurrence. So it's just one service, but you could pick every single one of the services and have it in a silver, silver package if you wanted to. Um, but then the next level up is a gold package and you have to choose three services. <clears throat> if you choose three services, you get six months uh, financing. And then if you go with the platinum, you choose four services and then you get 12 months financing and a free lawn and tree evaluation every year that you're signed up. All these trailers are getting a makeover. This will be the last one to get the makeover. Alrighty guys, it is Friday morning and I am on my way out to Bill's. He is beginning work on the mowing trailer. So I'm <clears throat> heading out there with my GoPro. We're gonna get some footage. I'm gonna show you guys what it is we plan on doing. And by we, I mean Bill. All right. So this is, yeah, you already have done some. I've already pressure washed these boards. I don't know if I have video of it, what it looked like before, but yeah, look like junk. It's pretty nasty looking. Yeah. And then you already took the toolbox off. Took the toolbox off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start front, remove this whole jack. Yep. We have a new electric lift Ooh. jack. Oh yeah, I haven't even seen this. Box. Yep. Oh my God, that's gonna be so nice. Yeah. We're yeah, cause. Put this in this area somewhere so that when the truck is hooked to the trailer, we can still open yep. the tailgate of the truck so you can access the back of the truck. Yeah, not be smacking your tailgate on that. <clears throat> yep. Yes. <laughs> that's so obnoxious. So then, wanna remove all the boards, inspect all the cross members, yep. rewire, for the electric brakes while the boards are out so it's easier to work on. Yep. Get the electric brakes working. Replace a few of the boards. Yeah. Re secure the boards properly. Um, as you can see, we have a huge gap here. Yeah. And stuff has fallen down in. I didn't even notice that when you said it, that flapping sound when you're driving down the road. Yeah. It's yeah. Annoying. <laughs> I'd like to put a board over here, secure it, put a board over there, secure it, so then gap these evenly mm, yep. so that rain or anything falls off in between yep. the gaps. Yeah, and you can see those boards are rotting. Oh, yeah, we've got one that's from here. Well, start. Oh. Yeah. There's a whole yep. vein that is completely rotted out. Oh, and then this fender? Yeah, so then the fender skirts even move that. There's nothing in there, so we'll have to get a piece of tin. Yep. The gate, we need to remove the gate. Yep. Um, obviously, it needs all new mesh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that thing's a nightmare. Because we have holes <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Extend our gate a foot or so. Yep. Um, the approach angle will be better for the Husqvarna. Yep. It's just that Husqvarna, too. This other kind of clean up. Weld that back into place. Oh, yeah. Find and clean that all up. These guys here, as you can see, there's a lot of movement. Yeah. It's coming apart there, depending on what gas cans we go with. I think and the ones you were saying, the uh, those tall ones, I don't know what to call those, but. We always oh. call them race. The cans. race. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, for lack of a better word. To come up with an idea to have our hooks so that one end is secure either in a D-ring or, or something, so that it's not falling out all the time. Oh, yeah. So I want to try and move that board over and secure it so it stays it's, against there. So. It's not capturing all that. Yeah. Now you want one, right? All right, looks like he started running some wires. Definitely pressure wash this bad boy. Oh, sweet. 